now, you know, from, from yeah, being captain of the Great Britain I sitting know. volleyball team, amazing. which was amazing, going to London, um, you know, flying, learning to fly. Uh, and obviously, yeah, having Oscar and, and having those old dreams as well. But I, 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 I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a thing. Um, and it, I think it's easy for me to say that because I was one of the lucky ones. I did survive so that you, day. You, but you um, lost your legs in the pain of that and, and everything that you've, that you've gone through. But you're right. I mean, it, it is about surviving. And you survived as well. So, so well. And I know that you're doing a, a fantastic work to try and stop something like this happening again, particularly talking to women. Yeah, exactly. 7-7 seven, seven changed my life completely. And in fact, someone asked me the very same question. If you could turn the clock back, would you go back onto the Piccadilly line? And I said, I would. I would. Having gone through that, I would, because 10 years on now, I work on counter-terrorism. So yeah. actually working with women and mothers, preventing radicalisation, so set, they can safeguard their children and ultimately yeah. we can safeguard society. See, I really think what you're doing is so, so important because, you know, you're right, you talked about mothers or, yeah. or, or wives or sisters. Exactly. And they're the ones in the home. They exactly. can actually help. Exactly. And, and stop this. That's it. That's yeah. it. Ultimately, no mother wants to lose her child. And we want to protect society as well. And uh, through my work at Jan Trust, I hear mothers basically saying, thank you for helping us. You've helped me save my child. That's fantastic. You're both brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Very, thank very you. much. Thank, thank you. you. Fantastic.